Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today, this is episode one of a series of videos that we're going to do about planting our garden this year. And in this episode, we're going to show you how we go about starting our seeds. And uh, in this series of videos, we hope to do a video a week. Uh, depending on weather and different things, we may not be able to manage that, but that's going to be our goal is one video a week and we'll see how that goes but for today we're going to be showing you how we start our seeds now i've been having gardens pretty much all my life i've tried a lot of different kinds of things some work some don't work uh, most work but some don't work as well and um, so anyway here's what we got to start with tonight i got my potting soil or my seed starting mix from miracle grow I got my seeds. I got numerous different kinds. I got a, uh, four different tomatoes. I got some Brussels sprouts, basil, summer squash, several, several things. And that's what we're going to be planting the seeds today. Um, I got tape so that after I cut the packages open, I can seal them back because we won't be using all those seeds in this particular planting. I got sticks to mark what varieties of plants I'm planting. Um, got my marker. Um, I got water, got my tray, and uh, so now let's proceed. I'm gonna get this stuff out of my way, and I'll show you how we start. Uh, this tray, we're gonna start out by filling the little holes with dirt. We're gonna take our Miracle Grow here, our seed starting mix, and we're just gonna pour a bunch in here. And then just spread it out. Fill the holes in. Kind of shake it a bit. You want it to get down those holes as well as you can. You don't want a bunch of air pockets down in there. All right, and as you can see, they're pretty much all filled. Some of the ones around the edges are not quite full, but I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We've got 16 rows. I'm going to plant rows this away. And uh, I'll put a marker at the ends. I think I will put a little bit more dirt in there. Um, just for the end over here where our, our markers were at. That first row, I don't really plant anything in it. I just use that first row for uh, sticking the markers in. All right, that fills up that row better. Now, one thing I've had trouble with in the past with this seed starting mix is um, I start these in my house where it's nice and warm. I mean, we're in, this is the 19th day of February, and we're here in Piedmont, North Carolina, a little ways northwest of Charlotte. Um, so we can't really put stuff in our garden until at least the middle of April, so we're about you know, eight weeks away. But we can start these in our house. I've got a cold frame that we'll be showing you later. Um, so I start them here in my house. I use this bucket to put water in to keep them damp until they germinate. And after they germinate and before they get up much, I take them outside and put them in a the cold frame. If I leave them in the house, uh, the seeds will get tall and lanky and they'll die because they just don't get enough sunlight in my house. But the warmth in here helps them to germinate and get started. Okay. Now, another problem I've had with this is I do this, I put my seeds in here, I put them in my big container here, and I put water in it, but that, that potting mix just doesn't soak the water up well. Uh, I've done this before, and I filled it up to where the water was well into the little uh, holes of the trays, uh, the holes that are empty, and 24 hours later, the tops were still just bone dry. So uh, what I do is after I get enough dirt to fill these things up, I dump them out. I set my tray aside. I put water in here to get this dirt wet. Uh, I don't know how well you can see this, but most of it's just sitting here floating on top of this water. There's not much in here, but there's enough. And it's just not soaking it up. It's just taking a while. I mean, a lot of it is still floating. And uh, so I'm going to keep working it around until I get it. For that soil is good and damp. I don't need it real wet, but I need it damp so that it'll soak up the moisture from the bottom. 
because I will water these from underneath. I don't try to pour water on top of them because it disturbs the soil. And uh, if you're not careful, your seeds will end up getting washed out or in the wrong holes or something like that. So uh, we're just gonna mix all this up. Looks like it's soaked up the water pretty good now. Now we're gonna bring our tray back and put our dirt back in it. Spread it out. No secret to this, you just, just spread it out, mix it in. Like I said, when I've done this before and I didn't wet the soil before, it just did not want to soak up water. And that's an issue. Because like I said, 24 hours later, if the top is still bone dry and the top's only half an inch below the surface of the water that's you know in the container, it's obvious the container, I mean the soil is just not soaking up the water. So that's what we got to work to prevent. All right. Now there we go. We've got our tree prepared. We're ready to put seeds in it. Uh, now I'm going to rinse my hands off a little bit and we're going to start opening up some seed packets and put some seeds in here. Now at this point I've taken the time to make my labels for all the different vegetables that I'm planting here. And you may notice that I skipped a row uh, between each seed that I'm going to be planting uh, because sometimes when you water these you're moving around the seed will get in the row next to it instead of the row it's supposed to be in so that just helps keep things separated and if you get one of these trays like this as I mean you don't generally plant that many different varieties at one time anyway and I separated the tomatoes between other stuff so I don't put two tomatoes next to each other uh, because when tomato plants start coming up you're not going to know which variety they are if they get mixed in. So, uh, you know, if it matters to you, it's important that you keep them labeled and separated. And another thing I would recommend that you do when you're starting your seeds like this, if you're using a tray like this, uh, after you get your labels in here, take your cell phone and take a picture of this. And you do that just in case one or two of these uh, markers get knocked down and out you'll still know what order your stuff is in. And like I said, with, with a lot of things, I mean, if a squash comes up, you know it's a squash plant. But when tomato plants come up, and I've got four different varieties of tomatoes in here, or I will have, uh, you don't know which is which unless they're labeled. So uh, I always take a picture of my labels, so if they get knocked out or something, I'll know which row is which variety of seeds. So now I'm gonna start planting my seeds first one I got here is a black pearl tomato. So uh, I'm going to get some of our seeds out of here and just go down the road and plant these things. There's not very many in there either. At this point, we've got everything done, pretty much. We got our soil dampened, we got it in our trays, we got our labels made, we took a picture of our labels so in case they get knocked out, we won't lose track of what is where. 
Um, we got all our seeds in the rows. And uh, the last thing I'm gonna do is put water in this tray. And uh, I wanna fill it up enough that if I look in the um, holes that don't have dirt in them, I want to see that there's enough water in here that there's dirt or water coming up in those holes. And there are. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit more. Yeah, I need a little bit more because I want to make sure that these seeds stay good and wet the first couple days. Uh, so they'll germinate well. And at that point, that's pretty much it for getting our seeds started. Uh, we will be doing more seeds later uh, as time passes on. Some of the seeds need to actually be planted in the garden. You don't need to start them early. And so you know, we'll be doing some radishes and a few things like that, that and carrots that need to be planted directly in the garden. You don't start seeds early. But that's it for this, uh, this video for getting our seeds started and how we go about uh, putting them in trays to get them started. And in a week or so, hopefully within a week, these will be germinating and coming up and we'll be able to show you that. And as they come up and they get a little bit of size to them, we don't want to let them get very big and we'll be transport, uh, transplanting them into larger containers. And the good thing about doing these little bitty, uh, these trays with these little holes in it, it's not unusual that some of your seeds don't germinate. And you know, if you start with the larger containers, uh, the seeds that don't germinate, you really feel like you've wasted dirt, you've wasted time, and you know, you got to label all these things. Um, so I like this method better, and we will show you how we progress through this. So that's it for this episode of Do It Yourself with Wayne, getting our seeds started for our garden. And, um, you know, we'd really appreciate if you click like on our video and subscribe to our channel. Like you said, uh, for this gardening series, we hope to be doing a, a video a week, more or less. Um, depending on work and weather and different things, it may not exactly be one a week, but that's going to be our goal. So anyway, thank you for visiting. Do it yourself with Wayne, and we hope you have a great day and a wonderful gardening season.